Nagash's ritual had to be stopped. The forces of order, chaos, and destruction descended upon Sayesh toward Nagashazar, the capital and staging ground for the Necromancer's dark spell. Led by Lord Ordinator Vor Starstrike, Sigmar's faithful braved unfamiliar realm gates and uncharted lands to find themselves on the final approach of the capital. At the same time, Marikar Bloodsky, war queen of chaos-worshipping marauders, was on a similar journey and had arrived. The two great armies would be enough to decimate Nagash and end his ritual, but the Changeling, a great agent of Zinch, manipulated both sides into fighting one another. And even with such a big fight happening nearby, the only army to remain focused were the rampaging Oryx that descended upon Nagashazar and threatened to end Nagash's ritual. The Greenskin army breached the outer walls but were greeted with a city of unflinching, undead defenders, enough to buy time for Nagash to cast his spell. Amplifying the energies of the Great Black Pyramid with his own, Nagash watched as the sky buckled and the magical essence of the mortal realms were magnified. The pure deathly energy on the outer perimeter of Sayesh flooded toward its center, toward Nagashazar, as the Great Black Pyramid bore an endless black vortex below. Nagash consumed as much of the deathly tide into himself, becoming greater in power. The creation of this vortex, known as the Nadir of Sayesh, reversed a magical polarity in the realm and sent shockwaves across the cosmos. A shockwave that had things gone exactly as Nagash wanted would end life in its entirety, but things did not go as Nagash had intended. Moments before the ritual was completed, Skaven had infiltrated the Great Black Pyramid to steal the shade glass material it was composed of. When Nagash's spell was cast, the Skaven were destroyed, but their chaotic energy tainted the spell. After this shockwave, the laws of magic were rewritten. Wizards found their control over magic more precise, and the levels of their proficiency amplified. Some spells were able to gain sentience as powerful, living, endless spells. But another effect of this shockwave, known as the Necroquake, would fall heavily into the great necromancer's favor. Across the cosmos, the dead rose in incalculable numbers, all of them chained to the will of Nagash. Skeletal warriors, zombie hordes, vampiric clans, necromantic cults, and tormented geists crawled across the land, sea, and air. Nagash was now the greatest power in the mortal realms and could command endless legions across the cosmos through his boundless will. Now was the time for Nagash to bend the realms to his reign in an event that would be known as the Soul Wars.